Hey, sons and daughters of God, August 1st. For the month of August, we're going to talk about uh, how we glory in the cross of Christ. But August 1st, the title is We See Christ on the Cross. Mark 15, 25 says, and it was the third hour and they crucified him. The spotless son of God hung upon the cross, his flesh lacerated with stripes. Those hands so often reached out in blessing, nailed to the wooden bars, those feet so tireless on ministries of love, spiked to the tree, that loyal, royal head pierced by the crown of thorns, those quivering lips shaped to the cry of woe and all that he endured, the blood drops that flowed from his head, his hands, his feet, the agony that racked his frame and the unutterable anguish that filled his soul at the hiding of his father's face speaks to each child of humanity declaring, it is for thee that the Son of God consents to bear this burden of guilt. For thee he spoils the domain of death and opens the gates of paradise. He offers himself upon the cross as a sacrifice, and this from love to thee. He, the sin bearer, endures the wrath of divine justice and for thy sake becomes sin itself. In silence, the beholders watch for the end of the fearful scene. The sun shone forth, but the cross was still enveloped in darkness. Priests and rulers looked toward Jerusalem, and lo, the dense cloud had settled over the city and the plains of Judea. The sun of righteousness, the light of the world, was withdrawing his beams from the once favored city of Jerusalem. The fierce lightnings of God's wrath were directed against the fated city. Suddenly the gloom lifted from the cross and in clear trumpet-like tones that seemed to resound throughout creation, Jesus cried, it is finished. Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. A light encircled the cross and the face of the Savior shone with a glory like the sun. He then bowed his head upon his breast and died. Hope you have a great day today. You're a son and daughter of God.